on my life i'm back i've just got a little short video for you today because it's been particularly wet and miserable but we had the wonderful christine gretton who came and visited us today for meet the horses tour and some time in the friendship barn with renska so just enjoy a couple of clips that i got today i'm pleased to say that nero is still out and he does still have his rug on so that's a little bit of a miracle because i think he's kept it on for over eight or ten hours now so let's see tomorrow morning whether he's still got it on so here's hoitzer and jubbers tucking into their tea and i'll see you again soon good morning all say good morning to the boys Iceman, Uber and Angel Eyes and little Nero. Oh, what have you seen? What have you seen? I'm going back out with your buddies today. What a lovely collection of boys. Morning Angel Eyes. You're coming up this morning. Yeah, he handsome. Hello, Iceman. You can come in a little bit later. Uber, you're just babysitting Nero today. Hello. I don't have any food in there. I'll bring it down later. Hmm? Did you all get a bit soggy last night? Um, Uber, that's not nice. Uber, don't be mean. It's okay, Hannes, I'm bringing you in. Hannes is fortunately very good friends with Iceman. And Uber and Nero tend to pair up. Oh, Uber's just making sure he remembers his position. both looking over there because Philip put some sheep in the field yesterday. So of course Nero hadn't seen them. Oh, hello honey. half an hour into his day with his rug on and it's still in place. How much longer is that going to last? This is one of the reasons I'm not a fan of this gateway because it's a bit of a bottleneck there and when they all decide that they want to come out, sometimes on a windy rainy day they're a little bit rude. Fortunately, the gate down the bottom here is closed and they won't have gone far and I can just let them straight into the barn field. But they're not my favourite girlies this morning. And believe it or not, Nika was the ringleader. There they are, hovered down the bottom. Inner at the back there. They like that field because it's got lots of grass in, but they don't like it because they can't see home. So they're all wanting to come in, but they can't because I've only got two head collars on me. You're naughty girlies, aren't you? That was very rude of you. Very rude children, aren't you? Eh? Don't push me in the back. Inner, Nika and Mabel back into the barn field and they can cross over the back to get back into the long field. And Dale 
and Ren out to come up to the yard. So we've got Steve here who doesn't want to be on camera at the moment, but we'll convince him in a bit. And do you prefer Chris? Yeah, yeah, thank you. So yeah. Chris has come along. I'm bowing to a celebrity. Oh, <laughs> celebrity. absolutely not. No, no, we've already done the hug. We've done the Frisian yeah, yeah. hug. So Chris has come along. Um, found us on YouTube originally yeah, yeah. through Last Nero. November, October was it? I can't remember. It was nearly a year ago, wasn't it? It was November. Yeah, yeah I don't know where the time goes. Yeah, yeah. So she's joining us today for one of our Meet the Horses tours. <laughs> <Nice>. So, <laughs> so Jodie is about to take you round to meet everybody, make you walk up that hill to go and see, see Nero. Brilliant. Um, yeah. But you've bought us goodies. Aww. So we've got here... <laughs> Look, a dark chocolate fudge cake made with... Oh, uh, mainly organic stuff. <laughs> organic chocolate. <laughs> <laughing at> me. <laughs> are Organic you still are you still mucking out in there? Not at all, not at all. Do you want some gloves? <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'll muck in. <laughs> um, so Jodie and I are going to sample some of this because apparently it's going to make us high as kites. Yeah, I'll be feeling really off the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, you should have some as well. Oh, so yeah. that... Okay, thanks. I'm too excited. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll stop filming you for now so that you can go and meet everybody. Thank you. So Annie heard the rustling straight away. So go on, Jodie. Jodie, you've got a mouthful. I'm going to ask you for a verdict. That is amazing. <laughs> Annie, I'm amazed you're not trying... Oh, she, she knows there's carrots in there. That's what it is. <laughs> so everyone's exhausted today because it was quite a rough night. And Chris and Steve are walking around meeting everyone. Hida was falling asleep, so I'm going to pop him in a stable. And Micah and Annie have taken themselves to bed. Renska's in the friendship barn, just waiting for Chris and Steve to come back up the hill from saying hello to Nero and Uber. And they're going to spend a nice, relaxing hour and a half or so just enjoying Renska's wonderful company. Go. Crazy. Going to be on the uh, video again. Oh, yeah. Right. So, Stephen, so, so go on. Was, was there a highlight? Oh, it's got to be Renska in the bar. <laughs> Renska in the friendship bar. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for having us, and I'll be back. Wonderful. Look forward to it. Take care. Thank you both for coming. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 This is the sort of little thing that really pleases me. It's a gate that opens properly. So we had David back here today, and he was just shoring up all this bit of fencing and this gateway to the boys' turnout area. And we're getting really, really close to being able to put them in here now. You'll see over here, there's a, a digger back over there. And Tony, who you might have seen on our video last week, is coming back in tomorrow. And what he's going to do is just bring the digger round the side here. And just where we've got this big drop from where the field is down to the turnout area, he's going to scrape all of this back with the digger just to level it out so that the boys don't sort of slip down on the edge there when they're that side of the turnout. He's also gonna move these rocks out the way and then we're pretty much good to go. All the mats are in there. We've not got the lighting up yet, which actually reminds me that that's one of the next jobs I need to do when I get back up to the office is order the whole solar panel and Vulcan, our electricians, are going to come in on Thursday and fit that so that we have an outside light, lights inside the shelter and the cupboard. Then we've got this big black water container here that David helped today with getting the guttering going into it. So this is already starting to fill with rainwater. I don't actually have a water trough for them at the moment that will sit over here because the ground's a little bit uneven. 
and I might actually section this area off so that they can't go in there. So for now, we'll just be moving it in buckets from there over to a couple of little old blue water containers that we'll do for now until we work out what's the best solution. So all being well, on Wednesday, we'll move them all across into their winter turnout and they get to see, and you'll get to see, how much they approve of what you've all done clubbing together as part of the 110k campaign to give them all to make their lives far more comfortable and happy this winter. They're not going to have far to move. They're all down in the orchard at the moment, eating off the last of the autumn grass in there. And then that field can rest for the remainder of the winter. In the morning with a smile on my face Feeling thankful for the love and the happiness we chase Sun is shining brightly, sky so blue and clear With every breath I take, I'm grateful you are near So grateful, yeah Thank you for the life 